Better get in, son. I used to be a window cleaner, man. I guarantee you, every time they leave the bathroom window open. And what you want to do, climb up the drain pipe and crawl through. You'll get through easy enough. So then you're in, right? Nick what you can, right? I usually stay the night. Depends. What about your mum and dad? Could be dead for all I know. Or care. Oi! Rosie! Piss off, all right? Yeah. Piss off. People like that should be locked up. So anyway, if you can't get through the window yet. Tom. <clears throat> Look at me when I'm talking to you. Do you know how stupid that was? You're not going to spoil things, Tom. We're going to Longleat as planned. Maybe it's better if we postpone it. We're not postponing anything. We're going to see the lions. I don't want to see the lions. But you always wanted to go to Longleat. With Dad. Not with him. Right. I've just about had enough of this. Say sorry. Tom, say sorry to Bob. He doesn't have to say sorry. He was rude. He has to say sorry. Jesus, Barbara. Tom? Tom! Stop the car! What is it? I, I saw a dog. I think it's her. I didn't see anything. I hope this isn't another one of your games. Why would I lie about seeing a dog? Dog color. Put that thing down, it's filthy. Let's go home. I know I saw a dog. Well, he must have run off. You're on the same side. We don't want him on our team anymore, sir. Well done, loser. Oi, Collins. How many goals did you let in today? Oh, Moscow. 
only reason he's on the team is because old Harris is having it off with his man. Oh, yeah! Ask your man what she has to do to get you playing centre forward. Oh, yeah. oh Tom, can I have a word? Lucky your little pup. You better clean yourself up before your mother sees you. Tom? Yeah? I fell over. It doesn't matter. I've, um... I've got something to tell you. I'll go get cleaned up. No, you can do that later. This is important. Uh, we were going to tell you... Yesterday, after we'd come back from Longleat. We? Bob and I. You know that we like each other a lot. And we've decided that it might be a good idea if we got married. What about Dad? I've filed for divorce. And uh, as soon as that comes true, Bob and I'll get married. What if he doesn't want to get divorced? Forget about him, Tom. He's forgotten about us. Because you're always shouting at him. You made him go away. We were always shouting at each other. You could have stopped. You could have gone to, to one of those marriage people. It wouldn't have worked. How do you know? Trust me, I know. Tom, please don't drink like that. Put the carton down. Aren't you going to clean it up? Forget about that. I'll do it. I said forget about it. Look, I know this is hard for you, but it'll get better. I promise. Better for you. Better for you and Bob. No, better for all of us. I hate you. Tom, you don't mean that. Yes, I do.
be frightened of. It's only a thunderstorm. Hey, what are you doing? Where'd you come from? Where did they lock you up? Was the food horrible? It's always horrible in those places. That's Tess, my dog. She likes me. Maybe she likes you too. Where are you going? Who the bloody hell are you? What's they doing? They're doing a bit of thieving. <laughs> bloody no! Hell. It's not his dad. It's the man. Let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look at the hand. Get off! Hey! Hey, don't go! my house. Who the bloody hell are you? You could be a spy. We call a spy. What do we do with spies, number two? We hang them, sir. Get the word, number two. I'm not a spy! Listen to how he speaks. Don't you think we should have a trial before we hang him? This is war, number two. We don't have time. Searching for weapons. Get off! Get off! The prisoner will remain silent. What is it? Some kind of secret German weapon, I suppose. Give it here, I need that! Too bad. 
little thing. Been seeing bloody clothes off me washing lines. You get a lot of muck thrown up in the wall. Yeah, you do. Where's your gas mask? <laughs> I'm talking to you. Where's your gas mask? Don't have one. You're a funny looking piece of work. What road are you staying at? What do you mean? Are you backwards, boy? Where are you staying? The farm. What farm? You don't know where you're staying? <laughs> you! <laughs> Come here! Run! Run! I'll have you! So I had to breathe. After the bombs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Better. Is it broken? What does it do? It helps me breathe. It smells funny. I know. What's your name? Tom. I'm May. Let's go, Tom. <laughs> Caldale. They're on Sheffield sometimes, but never Caldale. Come on.
They've gone. I don't like bombs. I don't like bombs. Mate, it's all right now. It's all over. The bombs have all gone. I've got something for you. It's chewing gum. I know that. What'd you do with it? Well, you put it in your mouth and you chew it. Bloody air raid. We didn't know there was going to be an air raid. Well, you're in one piece. That's the main thing. So we're back, are we? He's nowhere else to go. Can he stay, please? We're friends. Are we now? Uh, yeah. You're hungry. Come on. My name's Tom. I'm talking to the lad. Is the name Tom? Oh, yeah. Tom. Ah, well, I'm Sam Wheeler. What was they doing on my farm this morning? I... I don't know. Was they stealing chickens? No. I don't know how I got here. I shouldn't be here. Right there. But now there's here, they might as well eat some. Nay! Come on, lad. Sit it down. The girl. She's got a name. May. All right, what about her? Is she? I mean, she seems a little... A little what? Nothing. Evacuee. Did the shit the year when, when they started bombing? Yeah. That's right. What about their mum and dad? They... Have they gone? Have you lost them, lad? Yeah. I've lost them. Oh, I'm sorry, lad. This bloody war. Hey. Get some of that down you. Out it's my am, is that? It tastes of pig. What do you expect it to taste of? Tom, you don't want to sleep inside the house. You can stay with me in the kennel. Much nicer. The, the kennel? It's bigger than it looks inside and warmer. Tess sleeps there too. But Tess is a dog. Me. You go on. I want to have a word with lad. His name's Tom. Tom. I can make myself useful. Or I can make things a lot worse than they are. Do you understand? It's just that she doesn't... She doesn't talk to strangers. But she's taking a real shine to you. I didn't ask her to follow me. No, I'm not saying you did it. It's just that having a friend around might be the best thing for her. As long as you don't get her into more trouble. How can I rely on you? Good. Now then, 
Have you ever slept in a kennel? Uh-uh. Oh, well, there's a first time for everything. She always gets him first. That's early purple. I named them all after flowers. That's turnip. Because she's always escaping into the turnip field. Have you ever milked a cow before? Of course I haven't. It's easy. I'll show you how. What's wrong? I'm not milking any cows. Why not? It's fun. No milking, no breakfast. That's the rule. One drink, and I'll need something to tide the over till Susan gets here. <sighs> it's cold, Mary. Take him up to house, find him something to wear. Go on, go on, you'll be all right. Sit down here and I'll show you how to do it. Now, squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. That's so hard, you'll put her in a bad mood. Here, like this. Your home now. No. 
No, it isn't. You said you didn't have a home. Well, I do. Only it's... It's a long way away. Far as Manchester. Further. But it's like... Like it's nearer. How could something be further and nearer? I don't know. But it is. Shh! I just want to go home. I miss my mom. I know that does. Last time I saw her, I told her. I mean, I said horrible things to her. I know how that feels. I wish I could go back and undo all bad things that have happened. It's not possible. Come on, let's have a breakfast. I'll cheer thee up and then I can meet Susan and Alison. Uh, Tom, this is, uh, this is Miss Higgins. Susan. She helps us with cooking and cleaning. Uh, Susan, this is Tom. And he's like a... He's like an angel for me. How do you do, Tom? All right. He's just a boy. Flesh and blood, Sam, like you and me. Will you come inside today, May? Just for me? It doesn't matter. Now, Alison, this is... This is Tom. Tom, this is Alison. Very nice to meet you, Tom. Well, say uh, she's lucky. She's got a mother's looks. Tom's, uh, Tom's a friend of May's, aren't you, Tom? Uh, yeah. As if that poor little thing knows how to be friends with anyone. Where's he come from? What's he doing here? I don't know. Go on, sit down. I'm going outside. You mind your manners and speak when you're spoken to. Oh, bad. Another of your waves and strays, eh, Sam? He's good for me, that's all I know. May, come and have breakfast with us. Your friend doesn't like eating alone. We say grace in this house, young man. Don't we, Sam? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll say grace if that's ready, Susan. Well, it's been a grand day so far. Cows have performed well. The weather's looking right for this time of year. But best of all, we've got May in kitchen with us to eat. 
for the first time. And then this Tom. It were a grand idea to send Lad as a friend for me. I just hope there's not mucking him about too much in the doing of it. As for the rest, folks flying around in aeroplanes, dropping bombs, hundreds of thousands of people dying. Oh, I just hope I knows what that's doing, that's all. Sam! Well, I expect he likes a bit of straight talking from time to time. Are you outside? I just hope she can keep this up till tomorrow, that's all. Why? What happens tomorrow? Some doctors are going to meet me. Decide what's going to be done about her. What do you mean? Done about her? Sam Wheeler. Bloody hell are you doing here, Clegg? There's a little thief. Might have guessed I'd find him here. What's he talking about? I didn't do anything. There's the other one. It was supposed to be a farm, not an asylum. That child attacked me. As soon as she's locked up, the better. She's been locked up. What good has it done her? Yeah, well, maybe it will do her more good this time. Where are you going? I'm taking her with me. Bloody not. Get it outside. Go on, Dad! Get off my farm, Clegg. Don't be an idiot, will you? Get off my farm! You always were a fool. I don't know Dorothy saw her in you. If you mention her name ever again, I'll kill thee. That's enough. Both of you. Well, I showed him, didn't I? Do you really think so? He'll tell them what happened. And if you'd any chance of keeping her ear, you probably just lost it. May! I've made things worse. Tom, believe me, I've seen her a lot worse than this. Where did she come from? They called it a home. But it's more like a prison. She said something about... bombs. How she had to breathe after the bombs. A stick of bombs fell on the terrace and knocked it flat. They had lists of all the people who lived there and dug them out. Mostly dead, of course. Then they roped off the area and left it at that. Days went by and... And the story started up about a child crying at night. There's a lot of that around bomb sites. May was under there. By the time we dug her up, she'd been there a week. The whole family died in that raid. So they locked her up. For some months before I was able to go and see how she were doing. And then you brought her here. Dad says she didn't move for days after I left her here, or speak. He said it was Tess who brought her out of herself. First thing she could bring herself to love. Until you. But... I'm... I'm not even meant to be here. That's his maybe. Do you really think, though... that they'll take her away again from me? That depends on how she is. May? Push me! May, about tomorrow. Again! May! Again! Alison didn't mean what she said. They'll let you stay here. It's just... You've got to be on your best behaviour. Like you are with me. I'm not going. May, you have to. No. Think how lonely Wheeler will be up here without you. I'll only go tomorrow. 
if you stay here. But I won't go then. May, I'll only go, and I'll only be good, if you stay here. Okay. Okay. I'll stay here. Yay! to ask. What's that? Sure, you won't mind. Of course, I won't. What about your mother? Ma's gone, Dad. I feel guilty. There's nothing to feel guilty about. Oh, I keep telling myself that. Ma would have wanted you to be happy, Dad. You know that. It's obvious you and Susan care a lot about each other, and you can take care of me. Be like a proper family. You've only got the one life. Make the most of it, eh? Tom, would you like some breakfast? Uh, yes, please. She's ready. Sounds right, love. Clegg's looking for any excuse to make trouble. Yourself useful. Bring some logs in. to do. Go and see if them chickens have laid any eggs, eh?
fucking way to get out into fields. Susan and I have got an announcement to make. What's that bump on your arm? It's not nice to stare. Sorry. They didn't set it right when it broke. That's what Mr. Wheeler says. Does it hurt? Not anymore. Does it look funny? You'd never even notice. May I have this dance? Thank you, Tom. to go home now. I want to go home. What are you doing? I'm trying to get back home. You know when you told me that if I was good, and acted normal in front of those people, that you'd stay. I was lying. I. I thought you were. You're not very good at lying. Your ears go red. Are they red now? No. No, they're not. So you know I'm telling you the truth. Where I come from, all this, the war and everything, it's already happened. It's history. I'm not even going to be born for another 50 years. I don't belong here. How, how are you going to get back to where you belong? Where I come from, I hid inside the fireplace. There was a storm. And... And it's like... Like I fell through. Did you snore? Dirty old bricks. I know. But sometimes something weird happens to them. The bricks start to move. It's like a door opening. When? I don't know that. But when it happens, I'll go. I'll have to go. What if it never happens again?
And you can stay here. Mr. Wheeler and Susan can adopt you too. Me. You'll be okay now. So that's leaving then. Goodbye, Mr. Wheeler. Ah, right, goodbye, lad. Thank you. But I didn't really do anything. You did everything. Tom, don't forget us. I won't. by me. Yeah. Where were you, Tom? Nowhere. Just round here. Did someone take you away? No. Did they make you go with them? No. Did anyone hurt you? No. You can tell us the truth. Nothing's going to happen to you. I am. We're only going to help you, son. Hi, Mum. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank God, Tom. Mum, 
Tom, whatever the truth is, it's all right. But he must have done something in the last three days. Did you run away because you didn't want your mum to marry again? Is that it, Tom? I'll tell you what really happened. I met this dog, Sid. And it pushed me back in time. And I met this girl called May. Well, he's got a good imagination. I'll say that for him. Well, I'll let you know when he starts making any sense. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to fix some dinner. What would you like? Ham. Evelyn? Oh, you're up early, Tom. Do you remember someone called Sam Wheeler? I think he had a farm around here. Sam Wheeler? Oh, that's a name I haven't heard for donkey's years. So he was real? Real? Of course he was. What's all this for, Tom? It's, a. Uh, it's for a school project. What happened to the farm? Do you remember? Oh, it was a terrible thing, it was. What was? Well, the place was hit by a bomb. It's a bomb? It was bad luck. I mean, it could have landed anywhere. Oh, my God. Oh, Tom, it was a long time ago. A lot of people got killed during the war. Do you remember a girl? A girl who lived upon the farm? No, I can't say as I do. There was a woman, used to do his cleaning. What was her name now? Hang on. Uh, Susan. Susan something. Higgins. That's right. Susan Higgins. She's still alive, you know. She lives in that home down by the Methodist church. How did you know her name? Tom, breakfast is ready. Sorry, Evelyn. Gotta go. Bye. And thanks. Where are you going? Ow! No, you're not. Get your bag. I'm taking you straight to school. Oh, Mum! You missed enough already, and I promised I'd get you in today. Now, off you go. And hurry up! You've got to be in exactly. I'm going to wait here until you go in. With very gentle heat, the sulfur melts to a yellow liquid. This means rings of eight sulfur atoms will have formed. With stronger heat, the sulfur darkens and becomes thick. The rings break up and form long chains. The chains of sulfur then tangle up. The chains break into small pieces. So, are you with us, Tom? <laughs> uh, shush. Can I go to the toilet, miss? Yes, well, don't take all day. All three days. <laughs>
Excuse me? Yes. I'm here to see Miss Higgins. What have you got to do with our Susan? I think I met her once. Miss Higgins has been in this home for 20 years. You've never been here before and she's never been out. I want a visitor. Evelyn sent me. Evelyn? Evelyn who? She's an old woman who lives next door. She's too ill to get out. So she sent me here to see her. It's like her last dying wish. Here she is. Don't belong, don't tire her, and no tricks. Well, do you want to see her or not? Miss Higgins? Who are you? Tom. Tom? We met at Wheeler's farm. Wheeler's farm? Sam Wheeler? I was there. I was May's friend, do you remember? <laughs> Flesh and blood. A real boy. I want to know what happened to May. It's not possible. You haven't changed, not a hair, all these years. I thought you were an angel. Come for me. What happened to her? What happened to May? After the bomb. After Sam and Alison passed away. She was locked up. I didn't go to see her. Oh, it was so sad. She was so full of drugs. She could barely stand. Oh, for a terrible place. Poor me. She begged me to take her away from there. There was nothing I could do. Nothing. I couldn't help her. Maybe I can. <sighs> What's that? The bomb. When did it hit Wheeler's farm? So long ago. Try to remember. No. No, no. No, I can't. I'm sorry. It's... It's okay. Better be going. Five days. I were only engaged to Sam for five days. Five short, happy days. And he were taken from me. If the bomb hit, the five days after the party, after I left, that must mean that I've still got two days to get back. You can't go back, lad. The past is past. Be in school. Yeah. It's up to you, you know. You can stop me and your mother getting together, but do me a favour, eh? Just be sure about what you're doing. Be sure you know what you want. I'm not stopping anyone doing anything. Let me show you something. So worried. I'm not gonna make you go to church. I've been doing a bit of research. So I went through a few local history books. And I spoke to the vicar of this place. He's a nice bloke. You like him. I've got a hundred to you, Tom. Everything you said was true. Right down to the planes dropping those bombs around here.
They're the people you were talking about, aren't they? Yeah. Well, you certainly went to a lot of trouble over this story. I mean, well, you could have just made something up. I didn't make anything up. OK, Tom. I can't make you tell me what happened. But I just want you to know if it's a little bit hard to talk to your mother or to the police. Anything you want to say to me. But I didn't make anything up. Where did you get to last night? Sorry, in a hurry. Tom. Nowhere. I heard you coming in. I couldn't sleep, so I went for a walk. Just around the garden. Wait a minute. I, um, I spoke to your dad last night. That's brilliant, Mum, but can we talk about it some other time? Well, we, we've arranged to meet up tomorrow. Down in London, we can do the sights. I can't. I know. I can't go. Not tomorrow. Yeah, but Tom. Tom! You've got to tell me what's going on. I've got football! Tom! Are you all right? Yeah. I've got my arm. You maniac! If you ever drive as fast as that down this road again, I'm going to set fire to your car. Do you understand? What are you grinning at? Nothing. Mom! Oh, Mom, get off me! I've got to go. Let me take a look at your arm. My arm's fine. Let me see. That's it. Lightning. That's how it works. What about it? Every time it's happened, there's been lightning. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care. You got what you want. Now, let's just drop it. What do you mean, I've got what I want? I spoke to Bob earlier, and we both agreed that we couldn't go on like this. That you had to come first. Oh. So, can we be a normal family again? What if I said you and Bob could get married? Then can I go to the farm? This isn't a game, Tom. I know. So marry Bob. He's a nice bloke. Just, just let me go to the farm, Mum. I could still save their lives. Save whose lives? I promise this will be the last time, Mum. Just... They need me. Who needs you? What are you talking about? I can't explain. Just... Please, Mum, I'm not a kid anymore. Just let me go. No. I'm your mother, and this is stopping now. All right?
we've got to do. Is it that important to you? Promise me this is safe. I promise. And you'll come straight home afterwards. Yeah. Trust me. I do. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Don't forget this. Wrong. The last time I had an attack, someone helped me through it. Without my inhaler. Who did? A friend. Well, take it just in case. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Not out in this weather. My dog. This isn't your dog. Come on, girl. The storm's passing. No, stay, Tess. Oh, I've missed you so much. to shout. It's just... I need that dog. I need Tess. Do you understand? Do you recognise me? Do you remember me at all? It's Tom. Your friend. What did they do to you? Poor me. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Let's go. What's the point in bringing me back for this? It's too late. Where is she, girl? Where's May? Go and find May.
I know. I'm sorry. Listen, we're both going back to where I live. That can be your home now. But this is my home. Come on! I want to say goodbye to Alison. We don't have time. I want to say goodbye to Alison! Come on, this way. This is why I came back. Please, May. You don't know what your life's going to be like, but I do. I have to look after Alison. Alison isn't going to need you anymore. But I'm all she has now. Alison's going to die, May. No. No, no, no! She's going to die. And if you don't come with me, you're going to be locked up and left alone for years and years. Your whole life's gonna be horrible. Stop it! Stop it! Come with me. To my world. And it can all be different. I don't belong in your world. Like a sip of water. How did I get here? I came looking for you and found you there unconscious. Unconscious? Some of the old war must have fallen on you. Tried to explain, but I couldn't. I was too late. Shh. You tried. You tried your best. Excuse me. I'm looking for the old woman. Her name's Rosie. Hey, I saw you with her. Rosie, do you know where she went? Please, sir. Leave me alone. Alright. 
Excuse me. Um, do you know where Rosie is? Who? Rosie, the old bag lady. She was in here a couple of weeks ago. Sorry, never heard of her. There is someone who might help. Excuse me? Yes. A policeman said you do soup kitchens and things for the homeless and the poor. We try to do what we can. Do you know someone called Rosie? Rosie? No, the name doesn't sound familiar. She might have called herself May. That's what she used to be called. No, I'm sorry. Can I ask you why you're trying to find her? Things have happened to her that weren't her fault. Bad things. And, and she needs my help. I think I'm stupid, don't you? Just like everyone else. What's your name? Tom. Well, Tom, I think it's very good that someone as young as you should take an interest in an elderly person. She wasn't always as old as she is now. Keep looking for her, Tom. Keep looking for her. You must be mistaking me for someone else, young man. I always think there are fewer sadder sights than a grave with no flowers, don't you? Uh, yeah. What's your name? Tom. Tom. Would you be a dear and lay these flowers down for me? I'm getting a bit stiff. Bending down's all right, but uh, straightening up's a bit hard work. Sure. I try to come back here when I can on an anniversary, bring flowers and have a chat with the people that are buried here. You used to live here? When I was a little girl. But after the war, we moved away to Wales. You remind me of a little boy I used to know. A boy who lived around here? Yes. But that was a long time ago. A lifetime ago. at the time. I must be going. My husband will be waiting for me in the car. It's been very nice talking to you, Tom. May? I live in the States now, so it isn't easy coming back here. May, it's me. You notice the changes in the village when you do come back. It used to be so small and simple. It's Tom, May. Tom, remember? I recognized you straight away. I told myself that maybe you were his grandchild or something. No, it's me. This is impossible. I know. Oh, I was such a confused little thing back then. I often wondered if you weren't really just a normal boy from the village who I, I 
daydreamed about. He didn't daydream me. I'm glad. And you've never been called Rosie. Who is this Rosie? That doesn't matter anymore. Do you remember Tess? Of course I do. Oh, I love that dog so much. Fifty years later and I still dream about her. My God, I was as young as you once. It's hard to believe where all the years have got to. I must look so very old to you now. You look great. No, really, you do. Believe me. Thank you. Sorry to hurry you up, honey. I'll be right with you, Jim. Tom's been helping me lay down the flowers. Tom, this is my husband, Jim. Nice to meet you, Tom. Nice to meet you, sir. Take care of yourself. You too. Come on, Tom. 